When did you start ever like touching a ball? Oh, I was like six years old, man. Were you good? Yeah, I was all right. But I was better than baseball. When did basketball overtake baseball? Uh, during the Magic and Bird era, when everybody, all the kids, wanted want to be like them. And Michael Jordan came along, Charles Barkley came along, everybody wanted to be like them, wearing their shoes. And, and I just started watching basketball more and more and was, was liking it, started playing it more. And then that's when you started, got, I got more serious with the basketball. How old were you, in high school? Yeah, I was like 16, 17. You know, I, I went from there and then I got in trouble, so I had to take a break. And then after the break, yeah, I started back up and went to college. Uh, what, how old were you when you, when you, I mean, you want to talk 27. About I was 27 when I went to college. When you got in trouble or no? Nah, man, that shit is documented. Yeah. It's well documented on every sports page in the world, so. Six games right there. Mm -hmm. So I don't think we're gonna ever play two games. If we do, then we get extra games. Oh my man. Yeah. But yeah. Let's see. Let's see the competition. Is the um Mintian Hui Bui to Dao Daga nigga beside the Sujan Sudza Ma Ampire? Mintian you put it up, Yao Shen Bai Ying. One o'clock in the morning, gotta get up at eight. Situation sucks. Um hilarious actually. I just hate that you're so cold, it's freezing in here, so... What you got? Oh, what? 50 clip. Wow, need it. 50 clip. Don't eat I all at once, bro. Huh? You're not waking up tomorrow, man. No, I never... <laughs> I only use them, like, uh... If I need them. You restarted your career. Yeah, at the age of 27. You restarted your basketball career. Yeah, uh, from a junior college. Yeah, basically, and um, I took it and ran with it, man. Um, you know, I, I had good college numbers. I was number one in the nation in scoring and rebounds, so I, number three in blocks. So you know, I entered the draft. I didn't get drafted, but I went to play the summer league with the Washington Wizards with Juan Dixon and Jared Jeffries. Did you think you had a chance to play in the NBA? Hell yeah, with the shit I was doing. Uh, and Jared Jeffries wasn't doing nothing. Uh, but they took him first round, so it was, it was either me or him. And, um, they had Kwame Brown and uh, 
Brandon Haywood and Etan Thomas are they was big. They was already under contract too, like long term deals. Nah, my goal was just to, just to hoop, man. How, how was Greece? Greece was cool. It was just grinding with the pay. You think they did not pay you? Uh, when I left, I, they ended up owing me sixty-nine thousand. I was trying to. It, it wasn't about money at the time. I was trying to get in the game, you know, and um, build a name for myself so I can go somewhere and get a good contract to get the money. Put it down, bud. I gotta play D, man. He's back. I'm back. Y'all niggas don't play that shit on me. Niggas didn't play no D while I'm back every time. My man like this. Man, about being on your man if we playing a team sport, baby. Weapon. Just sit down. Communicate, and we gonna win this game. We can score. We can fucking rebound. Our problem right now is communication and running back. Two simple shits. Talk to each other and get back. Uh, what was after Greece? Um, Israel and uh, Cyprus. I got the uh, Euro Basket Player of the Year when I played over there in 2004. I got the Center of the Year, Import Player of the Year. That's when I really, when I got the Euro Basket Player of the Year, that's when my career just took off. It was easy to get jobs after that, like anywhere. Do you think you uh, got better material? Of course. Uh, what made me better was playing, playing in the pro sets in the NBA summer leagues and um, playing in Puerto Rico, man. Man, that's a. Cause you play in a game. Sometimes in Puerto Rico, you might play four days, in, four nights in a row. So it gets you better. The more you play, the better you get. How'd you, uh, huh? <laughs> uh, Chris Jow or your judge here? Uh, because he said that he's now in the first place, right? Uh, and he said that if he didn't win, because he said that if we win, how do you say that if we win, we have six shots, right? 他是这么跟我讲，要不呃，等一下打完比赛，然后我跟你们去跟老板讲，嗯，怎么样 ？It's a lot of tournaments, but um, it's not that much of money floating around. So it's a lot of lot of tournaments, and a lot of guys play for 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 cheap, and a lot of bosses are cheap. So um, I don't know. It's, it always depends on the players, but it's. I think it's. It's kind of difficult to to make real good money out here. But during Chinese New Year, it's it's so many games, so you're always gonna get. Um, you're gonna get a tournament. Um, that's a good thing. Because, like I said, this this basketball stuff is too. You know, it's not reliable. It might be gone next year. It might be gone the year after that. You never know. So. You know, there's just one thing waiting to happen. Maybe the Chinese government will control the money that is going for these, going out for these games even even stricter. So you never know. So um, yeah, but while I'm here, I'm trying to get that money. I mean, for honestly, I don't consider myself a professional player. 
So, I mean, for me getting any money for games, that's already crazy. You know what I mean? Like, if I was in Germany or if I was in the USA, I wouldn't be wouldn't be getting a dollar or a euro if I if 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 I was playing. So for me to get like um, 300 euro per game, that's 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 a great cut. And like, I love I love to play. So, yeah. I'm gonna get a sunburn and all that shit then. Okay, okay. Yeah. 
Jordan, keep going to the hoop. Yeah. Go down there. We put them in a tag mode. They don't know what to do. They don't have yeah. any different rotations. Nothing. Wait. Hello. <laughs> We won. That's what I'm excited for. That's all I care about. Um, where's my shit at? Hey, when you talk shit, know who you talking to.
you don't have trainers, you don't have, you know, people who are going to take care of you. So, um, they'll pretty much use you until you have no use. So, if you get hurt or you're injured, then they won't call you, they won't help you get healthy. They'll just find the next best thing. So, um, have to ice, have to make sure I take care of myself. Uh, eat right, take vitamins, stuff like that. So, um, yeah, I'm sitting here icing 15 minutes and then... I will relax and then do the other one as well. Yeah, I'm influenced by the flow because, I mean, obviously it matters. Like, having, I feel like right now I'm in a flow of games, so it's like I don't control what's going on right now because I was told I was going to come here and play a game, one game a day. So now we play one game and now they're saying we have two days off, so I have nothing to do. All I can do is go with the flow on there. But at the same time, I'm still in control because I can say, hey, I have games elsewhere. I'm going to go play. I'm going to leave. So it's like I'm going with the flow, but at the same time, I'm still con- I'm still in control of what I want to do. Yeah, I think wild ball is getting kind of, it could be getting carried away a little bit. Um, like, like, yeah, they have a good, there's a good foundation and a love for the game, but there's not a very high understanding of the game. Um, I think only in China it doesn't matter how much you shoot or or what you're doing uh, other than scoring that's seen. So it's like if a person shoots 30 times and has you know 20 points here, that's good. But America, if you shoot 30 times and you have 20 points, that's a bad game. It's a terrible game. Like you could probably lose your job in Europe or wherever you are playing on a team that you, they'd probably bench you but here it's the, the, the foundation is good but as, as it grows it's not about being a team player it's about one person out shooting the next person it's not about defense it's not about fundamentals it's it gets dirty it's more about who can foul the hardest instead of who can you know help their team win or you know who can stop the next person so it's the game's become, becoming more about being dirty and saving face rather than about basketball and I mean I, I personally don't like it because I'm a basketball player and I'm a professional so anytime I get out there and I feel like I have to protect myself kind of kind of takes away from the game because I don't get to perform at a high level you know so um, it means that I have to protect myself so I may I may start missing some shots because I'm worried about you know coming down a person putting their foot under me or a person trying to knee me when I'm going up, so I won't go up as hard as I normally would. So, um, yeah, it's it's bad. The foundation and the love for it is good, but you know, as it blossoms and and basketball grows, um, all people want to do is dribble and shoot and dunk. But you know, you got to set a screen, you got to know how to pivot, you got to know how to pump fake, you got to know how to pass, you got to do all the little things it takes to win. So. Um, I think that gets lost in translation, so yeah, it just it, it, it'll take time, um, but eventually I feel they'll get there.